stop before you waste thousands of dollars, watch this video. Okay, so in all seriousness, this video could actually save a lot of people thousands of dollars in the future. So before we get into it, if you could please like the video, comment down in the comment section below what your specs are, as well as share this video with your friends. That would be much appreciated so we can help a lot of people save a lot of money going into 2023. But with that out of the way, let's get into it. So yes, a bunch of new and exciting GPUs just launched. And if you're like me, you want to get your hands in other orifices on everything because you just can't help yourselves but you might want to stop yourself this time because buying a new GPU right now for a lot of people could be a big mistake and here's why now there's a number of reasons as to why it might not be a good idea but the first reason is well there's been a ton of price increases and honestly the price to performance now isn't really any better than it's been for a long time now maybe there's a couple of exceptions like the RTX 4090 where yes that GPU is technically giving you better price to performance but at $1,600, that's not gonna really matter to a whole lot of people. Whereas if you take a look at like the mid-range or even the slightly higher end GPUs, the price to performance is actually roughly the same as it's been for a long time. This has a lot of people frustrated and rightly so. So the first reason is not only is the pricing absolutely ridiculous, but if we continue to support this pricing, it's only gonna make things worse. So if you want the GPU market to be healthier and you want prices to be better, well, the only thing you can do is not buy new GPUs. Which brings me to my second point, and that's that used GPUs are absolutely dirt cheap, at least on specific models. Now, some great deals out there right now is stuff like the RX 6800. I've seen those going on eBay for as low as $400, and oftentimes you can actually even offer them a lower price than that, and they will go ahead and take it in a lot of cases, which is actually going to make that GPU a very, very good price, because yes, it's not going to be as fast as a 7900 XT or XTX or 4090 or anything like that. However, it is going to give you very high performance still, and it's going to do so at a fraction of the cost. I mean, if you were to compare it to something like the XTX, yes, the XTX is going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of like 80% faster, which is a lot of performance. Don't get me wrong. And if you need more performance, hey, I get it. But you're also going to be spending 2.75 times more on that GPU. So yeah, the math doesn't really add up when it comes to price to performance. And that's a GPU that's supposed to be giving you much better value you than something like the 4080. I mean, you compare it to the 4080 and it looks even better. Likewise, there's also stuff like I've seen RTX 3080s going between $500 to $600. And if you can get it for $550 or less, then yes, it's actually a very good deal because you're really only going to be able to get a 7900 XTX for around $1,100 if you're looking for an AIB model, which is probably going to be a lot better of an option versus the reference model. And so at that point, yeah, that's actually twice the amount of money for roughly around 50 to 60% more performance. So again, and the price to performance doesn't add up if you're trying to pick up a new GPU. There's just way too many good deals to be had on the secondhand market for me to seriously recommend to the majority of gamers to go out and buy a new GPU. Now, of course, there are always going to be those people who want to push it to the limits. But again, for the majority of gamers, I think the used market is going to serve them just fine. But honestly, you might not need a new GPU at all, which is going to shock some of you. But yes, I definitely see in a lot of cases bottlenecks in their systems that are far greater than the GPU that do need to be tackled first, or maybe even some things they can do for free that could be handled first before looking at a GPU. And that's what I definitely want to focus in on this video today, guys, because yeah, there's a ton of stuff you can do before buying a new graphics card that could actually have a bigger impact on your enjoyment of your games right now. So let's take a look at some of the free stuff you can do right now first, and then we'll talk about some of the other things you could purchase that could actually be still cheaper by significant amount, but also actually give you a better experience than buying a new GPU. But again, let's start off with the free stuff. And first of all, we have, well, you can do stuff like adjust your Windows settings. For example, you can disable mouse acceleration by hitting the Windows key, going to mouse settings, additional mouse settings, pointer options, and uncheck enhanced pointer precision. Now what this is going to do is it's going to immediately make your system feel much, much faster. And for games that do use your Windows input, yes, this could actually significantly decrease your latency, which is going to be probably the main benefit people are looking for when buying a new GPU. Only second to that is going to be maybe increasing your visual fidelity or increasing your resolution. But increasing your frame rate or getting your latency down does tend to be a very popular reason to buy a new GPU. Speaking of which, 
let's take a look at some other stuff you can do. Now, something else you can do is actually keep your GPU usage under 90%. Now, this isn't going to be realistic for everybody, but if you can adjust your settings to keep your GPU usage under 90%, you will get, if you lock your frame rate, a much lower latency experience, which is going to make a huge improvement, especially if you're going to be playing competitive games. Now, another thing you can do is enable NVIDIA Reflex if you are maxing out your GPU and you have an NVIDIA graphics card, as this will actually make a big impact on your latency as well, reducing it very significantly. And then, of course, you can do stuff like overclocking. Now, I have made overclocking videos in the past, and I probably will be making some RTX 40 and RX 7000 series overclocking videos in the future as well. So make sure you're subscribed for those if you are going to be picking up a new GPU, or maybe even if you just want to look through my back catalog to try and find some overclocking videos, I will try and link some in the description below to help you out with that. But yes, that can also improve your performance, typically by around 10 to 20% depending on the GPU make and model that you have. But with all the free stuff out of the way, if you've already done all that sort of stuff and you're still looking for a better way to improve your experience, well, there are some other options as well that could make actually a bigger impact than buying a new GPU. The first thing that I have to talk about is your display, as this is actually, I would argue, the most important piece of your PC, even more important than the RAM, even more important than the CPU, more important than the storage, more important than the GPU is the thing that you're actually looking at so if you don't like what you're looking at you're not going to have a good time or if it's too slow you're not going to have a good time and honestly there are some great options out there for all sorts of budgets i can't have everything linked in the description below but there's one display to rule them all right now it is expensive but it is the lg c242 and that thing visually is a banger and it has super low latency as well there are other options of course if you're looking at lcds that are much much cheaper if you want to get into that but honestly again i have to say before you buy a new g you make sure the display is good first so you might want to invest into something like maybe a 144 hertz display maybe a 240 hertz display for low latency or maybe if you're getting crazy into esports like a 360 hertz display those are all things that you can do that can make a bigger impact on your gaming performance today than buying a new gpu of course the other thing that i want to talk about and i do keep in mind you can buy like 1080p 1440p or 4k depending on your budget but again the other thing i want to talk about is is your mouse yes this thing right here will make a big impact on your gaming performance and enjoyment what i'm holding right now and what i'm going to have linked in the description below with an amazon affiliate link which of course thank you to everybody who clicks those and uses those it does help the channel this is the logitech g pro x super light in this thing if you're using just a generic mouse right now or an old mouse this thing is likely not only going to be much much faster but because it's so light you can make quicker movements and this does typically go on sale for around $110 and I think right now it is and normally before sales that have been going on this winter it actually goes for around $150 so you're saving 40 bucks right now if you do choose to pick this up which I do highly highly recommend before picking up a new GPU make sure that your mouse is good it will make a big big difference to your latency and overall experience playing pc games but with all that stuff out of the way if you still must have more performance and you've done all that stuff now we can talk about buying a new gpu now we can talk about a 7900 xt xtx 4080 4090 now it makes sense if you do still have to have more performance for whatever you're trying to do maybe you're doing 4k 240 hertz or something like that well then there's no other option yes of course you're basically gonna have to do a new gpu because even playing on the lowest settings an older generation card probably isn't going to do something that crazy in the majority of titles unless you're playing something like CSGO. So hopefully that helped you guys out so you can go ahead and get rid of some other bottlenecks in your system first before wasting a bunch of money on a GPU that maybe you didn't even need if the thing that was hampering your gaming experience was something like a mouse, a display, uh, changing the settings in your games or possibly even Windows. Stuff like that again can have a bigger impact and hopefully this helped you out. Again, please share this video with your friends and family so you can help them out and hopefully save them a lot of money because a lot of stuff I went over today is free. But with that out of the way, that's all I got for today's video. And of course, I'll see you in the next one. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think things like a mouse or a display can make a bigger impact? Or do you think you should buy a new GPU? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.